One two one two. It's your boy Wild Child. Baby Boogaloo. Shout out to Baxman TV. That's right, baby. Hip Hop Camp Talk 2. We got Wild Child in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like you performed last night, and like, yo, how you feel on the hip hop camp? You did a, gr a great performance last night. Um, it was dope, man. Just back again. Glad to see the people. Enjoy the energy coming from different spots. It, it was a blessing, man. I'm honored to be back. Thanks for hip hop camp for having me back. You know, I was here first time with my with my daughter Kiana. Now I was able to have the chance to bring my son right here, Mr. Baby Boogaloo. Want to say what's hey, up? Hey, what's up, Baby Boogaloo? Hi. Yeah, it was definitely dope, man. The energy was definitely dope. I'm just glad to be here, man. It's a and and we, we, we saw Baby Boogaloo, like, b-boying and spitting. Yeah. Yeah. Turn, yeah. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn around like that. Um, yes, I was. Yeah. Tell them everything you've been learning. What you've been learning. Um, what you been I've been teaching? learning dancing, rapping. And next. So you're going to be the ultimate and, people. And next, um, <laughs> and next I'm going to learn how to DJ. Oh, then, so that's the ultimate b-boy right here. He wants that's that. That's So yeah. I got my, my son don't want it no more. Like he's on some other stuff right now. Like I'm like, yo, listen to the beat. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. So so what's up with Watch Chat? What, what's up next? Is there some new new project in the making or? Yep. Uh, new album coming out, produced by Georgia Ann Modro. She did the whole album. Um, hopefully by the beginning of 2012, it'll come out soon. Um, I have a project I'm doing with Madlib. Everybody, you know, the Loop Pack has been waiting for us to do stuff, and so I got to do a whole joint with him, and then um, a couple other collab projects. But they're more like on the underground tip with uh, different producers from different countries. But those are the two projects on deck right now, and just travel. I'm trying to be like a half manager, half dad to this <laughs> one right here. So he's taking over almost everything I'm doing right now. But we'll be back early 2012. Look for the release, though. That, that, that gotta feel good, like being on tour with, with your son, like yeah. like just spending time. Like I know, yeah. like you've been away, been always on tour since day one. So yeah. I guess you don't see the kids all the time. Yes, yeah. The thing about it is, what's dope is for me to show everyone how we are at home. We don't put together a crazy show and you know and put it together as elaborate type of gimmick or whatever. When he was three, is exactly what we do on stage. I I, I play funk, soul music for him. He likes the beats, then we, you know, cool out, watch some Soul Train, listen to some more music, um, and then just start dancing. It's like playing sports. I, I come with him, it's like playing bat baseball with him. But then at the same time, I try to take him around, you know, the OG, the OG cats, you know, like the Electric Boogaloos and all these cats that are popping right now. And they open, they, they, they treat him with open arms. And so I'm just blessed. I don't even really talk about my music when, when he's around all these cats. Half these cats be dancing to the loop pack and my joints and they don't even know it's me. Right. Literally. So that's, that's, you know, I'm, and I'm glad. So this is like the first time for me to come together with him and bring it together. So what's yeah. up? Like, will there ever be another loop pack album or? Like I said, it's hard to say, man. Malib, you gotta understand, we went through a whole transformation back in the 90s when we did the loop pack. We, we really felt that record wasn't ready for the time it came out because everybody was trying to succeed and have families. And But, you know, we felt like it took a while. Then everybody really wanted the record and wanted us back. But by then, Malib already had like 20 different projects. Mm. So how do you tell them, okay, let's go back to where we started now that you're doing 20 new projects and everybody's hitting you? It's hard in his eyes. Mm. He likes to do new stuff. So he told me, well, why don't we do a Wild Child album produced by Malib on the medicine joint so we're trying to get together and and get to do something like that probably you know you never know what happens we did a surprise loop pack show and I, we didn't even know what was going to happen man all so, right cool so you know Rome's he's still at the crib just doing all the mixing and mastering for everybody he's going to be actually mastering the georgia project so we're all still fam man it's just a matter of mm. what's right for everybody you know what i'm saying so all that's right. what's up so who are you who are you guys looking forward to see oh uh, here at the festival uh shoot trying to catch feral munch M.O.P. Right, Miles? M.O.P. And yeah, M.O.P. fan? Yo, that bro. And he up. Bump that go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him. He be dancing to that, though, man. He, had, he never had a chance to meet him. I'm just glad he actually got to meet PMD. That was like, yeah. that was like an honor. A lot of people don't know. That was like Lou Pack's first tour was with Hit Squad. Okay. Back in Cali. And PMD remembered that. All right. In Santa Barbara, a small little spot where we live. And it was like Red Man. K Solo, DOS Effects, EPMD, Scratch, and it was like Loop Pack. 
Come on, man. That was like our first. That was when we was hungry. We still hungry, but that's when we was like starving. And we got to do that. He remembered that. But at the same time, it's dope because he was telling me his kids, I think, might have seen my son on America's Got Talent. So he was kind of tripping out that I'm even having him with me too. So I was, I was, I was blessed. What are your son was an American talent? Yeah, yeah. That's how. Word? That's the reason why. He's, yeah, man, the, that's why y'all haven't heard from me. I'm gonna tell you right now. A year ago at this time, this kid right here, say what up. Hi. I just said what up. And his partner is uh, Bell Rock. He's the youngest of Rocksteady crew, and he's 11, but he looks like he's only his age. So together they formed the group, and they went on an audition on America's Got Talent. And next thing you know, they made it all the way to the top 24. And they were the youngest on the season. So, and ever since then, they started doing NBA halftime games. They did the All Star NBA All Star game with Kanye and Rihanna and all those cats. And mm. and since then, it's just been crazy. So he had to get a manager because I couldn't be two places at the same time. Yeah. So now he got. I don't even have a manager. He got a manager, and and you know that's what took over the last eight. That's why I haven't had any releases out because I I didn't want to like put records and music out there and not be there to promote the stuff. Yeah, of course. So now I'm finally finishing what I started and now, you know, and he'll be part of it. You'll hear you'll hear Baby Boogaloo on the joints too. Okay. So we want to thank Baby Boogaloo in the house. Watch out in the house like your pleasure. All right, peace out. Yes, yes. What up, man? What up? Thanks again, man. Thanks. Proud thank you, man. man.